When should the doctor declare your death? Until 1950 you was considered dead when the doctor said you were dead, where the person was deemed to be dead if any of the primary organs in the body stopped working, such as a heartbeat or breathing. This medical belief led to the accidental burial of people until 1950. Stopping the heart or breathing did not mean that the person had died. The heart or breathing stops, the person is buried or enters the refrigerator of the dead, and then his heart works and breathes again and returns to life. Therefore doctors should not confirm that someone has died because his heart has stopped or his breathing has stopped, or his lungs have stopped. The definition of death changed only in 1959 after the invention of the industrial respirator. The definition of death is the death of the brain stem. Since the brain stem is responsible for consciousness, the purpose of death is the loss of constant consciousness. Did you know what the definition of sleep is? Sleep is the loss of temporary consciousness. There is no need to worry. It is one definition. The state of death and sleep are a loss of consciousness. The person responsible for this loss of consciousness is also part of the brain stem, because the brain stem is responsible for consciousness. The brain stem loses consciousness in the case of your death or sleep, only one difference. The brain stem loses consciousness in the case of your death permanently, but in the case of your sleep, the trunk of the brain temporarily loses consciousness. However, the definition remains the same. For more than 1,400 years, the Quran has explained to us that death is the loss of consciousness when we have been compared to death by death. Our judgment of death is a neural rule. Death is only a loss of consciousness. You have to release the lungs and heart from the equation. During sleep, you say the sleeping Quran is dead. Allah says, in this is verses for people who think, if we thought of this verse and worked to put our Muslims first definition of death before the year 1959 much, and saved us Muslims are indeed buried, and they are still alive before 1959. Introduction Today, we're going to look at why the Holy Quran decrees that death is when there is no brainstem function. To start let's take a look at something that has been the stuff of nightmares and horror films for decades. It's the story of some poor soul who for whatever reason has been declared dead and buried six feet under but they're still alive. Now if you think this story can only happen in a horror movie? You'd be dead wrong. Pun intended one look at recent stories right from the news proves it a woman who gave birth three months after she was pronounced dead. Another who was still alive when she was put into a body bag in the morgue and subsequently froze to death. Why do these horrific cases exist? Because of this alarming fact, there are no universal guidelines for doctors to declare a person dead. Yes, you heard that correctly. Even among doctors, the definition of death isn't fully agreed upon. You're dead when a doctor says you're finished. A person can be pronounced dead if their heart stops. But they can also be revived in many cases people can also be kept alive with machines even though their brainstem has 0% functionality. In 2013 a study showed that in cases where CPR is used it should be administered for at least 38 minutes because a person can still be revived for that amount of time with no lasting brain injury. In many cases but here's where the difference is, and it's very important once the brain stem permanently stops functioning. There's no way of reversing it. No matter what happens that person's heart would eventually stop beating, even if a ventilator is used. The most important fact to remember about the brain is, this it bestows upon us the one thing that makes us truly human consciousness with that fact in mind the irreversible loss of consciousness can and should be defined as death and vice versa. Now here's another fact that might surprise you. When you sleep your brain stem is inactive, and there are those who argue that sleep is also a loss of consciousness due to the inactivity of the brain stem affecting neurons when a person is sleeping the brain stem also becomes an active person dies causing a loss of consciousness as well while they might seem like identical definitions there's one difference loss of consciousness during sleep is reversible by loss of consciousness due to death is irreversible and it's for this very specific reason that doctors when declaring a patient dead should limit their declaration to the state of the brain stem and nothing else in effect as the holy quran pointed out 1400 years ago. Sleep is like death and death is like sleep. Verse 1. It is the Allah who takes your souls by night when you're asleep and has knowledge of all that you've done by day then he raises wakes you up again that a term appointed your life period to be fulfilled then in the end unto him will be your return then he will inform you what you used to do. 
verse 2 Allah God takes the souls at the time of their death and that which has not died in its sleep he withhold that against which he has decreed death but loses the other till a stated term surely and not a signs for a people who think deeply think about that for a moment 1400 years ago the Holy Quran already had a specific unquestionable definition for death namely when the brainstem no longer functions it has nothing to do with heart function whether the person can breathe or any other bodily functions or organs. What this means is that around the world millions of people have been declared dead when in fact they were not that is why in the interests of human rights Muslims believe that doctors should only consider a patient dead if their brainstem has completely stopped working. Until that point any and all measures should be taken to keep them alive and not pronounce them dead simply because their hearts breathing or other functions have stopped the first and foremost Quranic verses say that all humans have the basic right to live and that human life should be respected yes when we sleep the brain stem effector neurons stop functioning for a short time but then we wake up one thing to keep in mind that is very important to this issue is that it was discovered by Mikhaili and Citizen in Scholarpedia in 2008 that when we sleep the effector neurons in our brain stem become hyperpolarized and have nearly no action potentials it's for this reason that before sleeping every night you should pray that your brainstem neurons are depolarized so that you may once again wake up and enjoy another day why not make sure that everyone around the world has the chance to wake up by following the holy quran and only declaring someone dead if their brainstem had permanently stopped nothing else by the way until the 1950s Death was considered to be the point when any one of the vital functions heartbeat or respiration ceased this is what according to Dr. James Bennett, a neurologist at Dartmouth College Geisel School of Medicine in New Hampshire, stated in his speech in Life Science on June 19, 2014, it wasn't until 1959 that the two French neurologists Maurice Couillung and Pierre Muller changed the definition of death by defining it based on neurological criteria instead of cardiopulmonary criteria they really saved us from being buried alive by stating a specific unquestionable definition for death the irreversible loss of consciousness can and should be defined as death, but this took place in only 1959 the Holy Quran, however, stated its specific unquestionable definition for death the irreversible loss of consciousness can and should be defined as death 1400 years ago. To truly respect human life, we need to agree on a universal definition of death, and just as the Quran has shown us that reports should be based on the brainstem of the person in question, permanently stopping nothing more, nothing less.